for the inaugural NSSF annual members meeting where the management and board sought to lay bare their achievements, plans and challenges. First, the money, Please with the fund now holding 3.1 trillion shillings. On average now, we collect about 50 billion shillings. Not only that, because of the turnaround time and the improvement in processes, we are able to turn around the benefits, which you can see has also increased. It's not by accident that there has been an expen exponential growth. It's because it's much easier for our members now to pick their money from us when it's due to them, without any excuses. We do that in a record time of 18 days. We're not happy with that. Our target is to about five days. Second, the stalled rural estate projects, which the NSSF management says are slowed down by procurement procedures. The good news is that we now have an arrangement we've agreed with the PPDA to be able to outsource all our procurements to a third party provider. We believe that that should then unlock all the real estate procurement problems that we have with regard to getting the contractors on board. That will apply to pension towers, that will apply to Temangalo, and that will apply to the Loboa housing estate. Of particular interest, the MD emphasized the Loboa housing project with its planned thousands of houses. Loboa, as you all know, is uh, closest to town. We believe that with the investment we are about to put in there, will change the entire structure and uh, city of Kampala. The development is going to have 3,000 houses, and we expect those houses to cater for the high and the middle income uh, 